Regal leopards, regal lionesses, all of them seem to want to be on a termite mound, whether they're in South Africa or here in Kenya. It's nice to know that some things don't change no matter, no matter where you are in the world. Well, I mean, provided they're lions, wherever you happen to be in the world, and leopards. Right, so our Angama lioness is looking intently off in the direction of our mountain towards a herd of zebra and also in the direction that her sister, or at least her pride member, disappeared off in. So there's a whole... Oh, there's the lion. Actually, let's move now. You see the lion there? Right at the back, there she is. Watching the zebra. That's what that lioness is watching. Come, we've got to go closer. They're going to go soon. She's waiting for the opportunity. I think we should move away from the cubs and the one lioness that's there, although it's a beautiful shot. This lioness is watching intently. All four of them are looking particularly hungry, as I said. They could really do with a good meal. Oh, okay, this is going to be a patience game. She's gone flat. The closest zebra to her are probably about 200 meters away. I know, Debra. It was such a gorgeous shot. I'm sure Manu feels the same way. It was a very, very beautiful shot. It really... The, the animals pose here like they know how to go about it. They, they like, it's like they've been given modeling lessons or something. Something about the way that... Maybe it's just the views. I don't know. But we do get some stunning shots out here. All right. Let's go catch up with this lioness. Riti, you would like to know what happened... What would happen if a lioness came face to face with a leopard? We've seen that before, actually, on the live safaris. It was totally unexpected. Dave was on camera with me. And one of the Inkahuma prides came out of nowhere. We were just following, or one of the Inkahuma females came out of nowhere. We were just following Tingana, watching him go about his daily business. And all of a sudden, this, lip, this lioness came out of nowhere and chased him up a tree. And he shot, he just made it by a whisker. Slight exaggeration, but he, it was close. Because she had full speed before he saw her. So he still had to accelerate away. Now we wait, everybody, which is exactly what this lioness is thinking. One lioness over there is the one that was on the termite mound. If we can have a look there, Manu. She's there. I know we're at a bit of an awkward angle, sorry. So she's back there. And while we have a look and set the scene, just to finish Riti's question, leopards will be... tree that a lion can't climb up because as we know of unsuspect so now we wait everybody those zebra are still far too far for her to launch herself and the grass is too short so she can't sneak up on them she She's basically, I think, she's hoping that they're going to start moving in this direction. And perhaps she knows something I don't, though, because typically the zebra move up into the mountains as it starts to get dark. If that does happen, that's going to be when she's going to have to make her move. Now, there she is, waiting patiently, using, just as we've seen the hyenas do, using the, the lay of the land, even where it's artificial, so using the road to hide and provide herself with cover.